Okay, so I want to go on ahead and just kind of talk about what I did off camera now that I've gotten some knowledge and things are going to be looking very different as you guys can see. So first things first, I went on ahead and I claimed the DLC items. I was originally not going to as, you know, so sometimes DLC items in games like these can be incredibly broken, but pretty much the biggest offender here is that I went up about five levels. Um, I believe last time I was level 36, now I'm 41. Um, and I have the gold from the item before. With that said, um, the gold is probably not going to last for very long, and to compensate for the increased levels, I decided to set the game to moderate, which should help a lot. But that also, um, it also means that I have a lot more recipes and stuff that I'd be able to play around with, which I don't think will be too much of a hindrance. So, I don't think we can go on ahead and go on ahead and talk to this person's mother. Hello everybody, my name is David, you can call me Zen, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. Last time, it was mainly just a side quest slash filler episode. This time, we're going to be progressing the story probably just a little bit more, but also doing the last side quest we have with the food. Sorry. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I have some bad news. It's your son. He's... Yes. It's okay. I know. Ugh. You do? Then what are you doing? I have work that must be done today since my son can no longer work. It's like this here, too. Huh. All right. Forget about your work. Or better yet, think of tending to your son as your task for today. Very well. I'll get to work. Dang, I... That's. Because that's the way people were made. Yeah, I was, it was. It's a big like mental conditioning thing here, and it's really sad, honestly. But I think we should be good in regards to um. Think about every aspect of their lives. Picking up the meat that I was waiting on. So. Was no, I'm not. I'm not good. I'm almost good. So yes, um. I'm like 90% sure that's actually supposed to be Rat Pig that we're supposed to turn in for the additional meat. So let's just continue the game. It'll it'll get done probably before the end of the episode today, and we can turn that quest in. Yes. Then I'll get started. Bring me some fire. What? Wait, you intend to burn your child? That's right. That's how you do it. I don't understand. Wouldn't a more formal funeral procession be more appropriate? I'm I'm sorry. Have I done something wrong? Tell me, do you have no custom where relatives of the deceased may say their final farewells? Not really. How could we on Dana? Up until recently, our people were too busy toiling away to think of burial rites. Among Renans, it's customary for relatives to send the remains onto the heavens. Why not introduce such a practice to Dana? We believe that in doing so, the deceased spirit shall join the flow of astral energy that travels the cosmos. Mm -hmm. We could never do something like that. It's the last chance for um, it's the last chance for the bereaved. The ba, 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 ba. It's the last chance for the bereaved to see their loved ones. Surely something should be done to honor their memory. But death is a part of everyday life for us standins. You really think we're going to ship bodies into space somehow every single day? I simply felt that something more ought to be done. When the Renna still ruled over us, we didn't even know if it was safe to build grave sites. Our as bodies decompose, they spread they can spread diseases. We didn't have any other choice in how we could bury our people. Rinwell. Don't think don't think for a second I've forgiven everything that the Renas did to us. Tell me, Alfin, do you know why none of us have last names like them? Let me tell you why. It's because we outnumbered them, and they denied us our culture to stop us from uniting against them. Enough. Your people steal so much from us as it is, and on top of that, you have the gall to try to make us live like you too. If you hate it so much, why don't you just turn them all hollow? I... That's enough! No more. Lenegas can strike at any time, and here we are fighting amongst ourselves. We're all well aware of the suffering and hatred we each harbor. But if you're to coexist, we have to recognize each other's differences. Hmm. That's what we're all working together to achieve. To bring an end to this whole system and begin living together side by side. That's what I believe, and that's why I'm here. If any of you think differently, then be my guest and leave. 
I'll break down every last barrier, even if I have to do it alone. Indeed. I sincerely apologize. I consider you a true friend, but it would appear that I've yet to reckon with our people's dark history in earnest. I'm afraid not. Bridwell, I completely accept blame in all this. Words cannot express how very sorry I am for clearly offending you so deeply. Sorry. I'm sorry for lashing out at you as hard as I did, Dolahim. I guess I'm still working through a lot of emotions. I know you're only thinking about what's best for her son, Rinwell. too. Rinwell, I'd like you to teach me about the culture and history of this planet. Perhaps that'll help us begin to bridge the gap? Huh? Huh? Sh sure, I don't mind. Could you maybe teach me about Renna, too, then? Please? <sighs> you two are more alike than you realize sometimes. I'm glad we were able to patch things up. We've lost enough good people along the way as it is. Um, oh, right. Sorry for the distraction. Let's lay your son to rest. We'll do it the Danon way. Yes. That, that was a very important dialogue, I think. And it kind of shows, like, how building relationships between the two, um, the two of them is slowly going to start, you know, happening over the course of the game. And we've already seen a lot of development for Renwell. We've seen it for Do Do Halim, and I'm glad that they're showing that conflict is still something that could happen even amongst the team thank you thank you for granting me that task don't mention it it's the least we could do for you as his mom well because of all of you my my son is at peace now rest assured we intend to build a future for this world that would make him proud speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alfin. If you call letting your emotions get the better of you impressive, sure. It made them stop fighting with each other, right? I, I wanted to see, like, their little However, side conversation. You knocked some sense into Rinwell and Dohalim, and that mother. Yeah. I can see my decision to travel with you was well made. Aw, that's wholesome. Alright, let's watch this get Hatred versus Anger. Oh, look at Hoodle. Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. Are you here to talk to Dohali, maybe? We lived in hiding, so we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been yeah, to, there's, I guess it's the she's just that gets experiencing that there's so many different layers to this firsthand. Right and I can when understand where she's coming it, from. Sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way. Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. Yeah. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, La. <laughs> oh, look, who was even happy? That was some like some of these skits are actually like amazing, given like the context of the world that everyone's currently living in. You know? Okay, hold on. So I also learned a little bit about the farming system off camera. We're just gonna we're just gonna stock up on rat pigs, okay? And um, one of the things that was brought up to me about um, the farming system is that it's actually a little bit of um, the balancing act between having dogs and cats is actually pretty important. So dogs are going to be fending off Zoogles. But one thing that I want to point out is that, you know, as for the rat pig, it does say Zoogles are known to have a taste for their rare pricey meat. So that means that Zoogles are going to be the ones that you're going to be primarily dealing with. Which means that you should have more do dogs up to defend against the, um... Defense, um, defend against them. Alright. I am gonna use some of this, uh, additional gall already, but you guys can already see, like, we are running through, um... 
We already ran through our gold, basically, and all I did was just stock up on some healing supplies. You can never be too but, prepared, um, but I guess we can go on ahead and head back to the city, I guess? Spend so much? Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to meet you guys over here because I saw this off camera and I wanted to take care of it. It's nothing too serious, I promise you. It's just a healing person for Xion, but I want to see what the reward was together. It cost us 57 CP to do this, by the way. But, um, we got a sashimi recipe? We've gotten so many recipes recently, especially now that I've, uh, unlocked a lot of them from, uh, from the DLC. So I'm guessing some of the stuff would have been recipes that we would have came across later. Though I don't even know how much later, because we're getting pretty, pretty into the, like, the second half of the game at this point. So... It's very plausible, like, what's gonna, um, what could, like, once we get to the end of the game, we might not have everything done. But I am gonna at least try my best to get as much of this game accomplished as I can. That's the least I could do as having this just be, you know, standard let's play, you know? And I love being able to show off this game to the best capacity that I can, so... All right, let's go on ahead and take let's go on ahead and take a rest. This is story rest, so let's go on ahead and see what how much we've done for all the people here at Pelagian. What? Wait. Why are her thorn thorns hurting herself now? What's that noise? Helfin, this is bad. Look at the sky. Oh, the game went from zero to a hundred. Oh, oh, the game really went from zero to a hundred. It's only been a month. I guess this is giving final act of the game right now. Um, wait, that's one of each element. Cause that's that's water right there. So there's probably a water, a fire, wind, and an... Is this a whole fortress? Um... Are they sucking off the... Sucking out the actual energy just from Dana? I guess that would make sense. Um. That's not good. What's happening to Rena and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming. But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It With the sword and su shield. Last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Well, there's no crown contest Who anymore. Cares? We defeated all the lords. If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion. Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Cores are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? 
She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Yeah. Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Everyone in the guard always wondered who she was. Yeah, I was gonna say the next, the next all the lords. I remember seeing her with Balsif too. Okay, they're, so they're finally bringing this up. Her, okay, right? I'm Shion? happy. Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the lords for the Renan top brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. Okay, so she but literally was just that. invisible this whole invisible this whole time. Of this later. Right now that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Heros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely We're kind of in a rock in the hard place, huh? This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. Okay. That must be Rena's true power. I imagine there would be Let, something. Uh, Lenegas' retaliation. What's gonna happen now? I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. Yeah, they just pulled drastic measures. They're probably comfortable with getting the astral energy at the rate that they were due to the crown contest. The people of Pelagian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenegas is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on, we don't have much time. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, did anyone else see any weird lights? Okay, so it? let's see. As I recall, it was four lights. Yeah, I was gonna say there's four of them, and we only had very. We only bore witness to the. We actually see uh, the beam of light. Oh my god, we can. Oh my goodness. Okay. Focus on one thing at a time. Let's talk to the locals. When that thing dropped out of Lenegas, the sound. My oh my, I thought the mounds were collapsing. Alright, that's one, just a comment. Excuse me? You're trying to find a way out to the other realms? Can't say I've heard about anything. If we knew anything like that, we wouldn't have had to hunker down in this slum. Oh, wait, I almost walked past the third person. I was supposed to be like, wait, 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 wait. You're trying to get to the other realms. Without a sturdy boat, there isn't much you can... Wait, I take that back. I remember that one of the elders who recently started talking a little mentioned something. Apparently, back in the day, there used to be a way to get through the Forland Mountains, but not anymore. What could it have been? Where are these Forland Mountains exactly? Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the lava to marshlands. Oh! I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around. Neither do I. There. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again. Yeah, I agree with Alfin. We should probably just take another. Just probably just take another look. Um, my guess. Yeah, it's in the. It's in those depths. You guys want? We already did some initial item preparation, so it shouldn't be too much of a deal. Armored soldiers. Wait, why are Volron soldiers here? Guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. All right, so like I said, this should be um, a lot easier now that we are level 41, but 
Um, I did set up the difficulty to moderate to try to circum circumvent the somewhat of over leveling for this. Um, one of the things I think that also came up is that um, I think Rinwell got a title because we had gotten a lot of unique items off of the uh, off of claiming the DLC. So. And off camera, I also added, um, what's it called? Um, Lunar Vacuum? Vacuum Blades, Vacuum Blades. See, imagine if I, like, remembered quite literally anything. But I'm just surprised that a lot of, uh, I wonder what Valrun soldiers were kind of still doing around, you know? But like I said, one of the kind of mysteries that was brought up was where is Valrun body? Which has me inclined to think that he's not dead. Or at least some people, someone's about to really put, up, put down the necromancy card, you know? But we probably won't know that at least for the foreseeable future. So all we can really do is just Give it our give it our best shot. I want to activate a fast travel point to the mountains, and then from there, hope if we ever get a rapid thing, we we will quickly the like here? intermission. Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug. Whatever it is, maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. I think this was blocked off before. Everything all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Yeah, I think she's just like connected to whatever's going on Lenigus and it just activates her thorns when it happens, right? Yeah. We gotta figure out what's going on I with her thorns. It happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out, like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing. You up see, that's why I'd be selling our armor. Well, our armor is also still good once you fix it up. Besides, better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpletons such as yourself who can't appreciate the true worth of such things. Okay, so where are they going with this? History. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys. This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly, that's all. Oh. My deepest apologies. All right. It yeah. Yeah. All y'all overreacted. overreacted. All of you. Yeah. Okay. Y'all are like so crazy. I might have been out of line too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah. Every little piece is its own treasure filled with. Except for the armor that I be selling. I'm just saying. I'm ready for the next battle. The gold dog tags are appreciated because we can kind of keep our money up that way. But the Forland Mountains. We basically unlocked our next dungeon? And in swordsmanship. Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? Kind of. I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face. But I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Denon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must that be using real make sense. techniques then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles too. 
it's yeah, incredible. I can. And you know, the, no one ever actually brought that up, and I'm glad that they elaborated on it. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler, only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. A way to make it depressing, Alfin. Ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly. Yes, sir. He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. He could be the Truth. final boss. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. Oh, wait, well, Voron's Lord. Oh, just in time, just what the doctor ordered. To find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Volron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Volron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? That would explain why we saw Voron in Cislodia, yes, actually. I suppose you're right. Because he had For probably a little guys, pathway. That would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. I am. That's I understand. Way more than just loyalty, it's no less than total subjugation. All right. So we're looking pretty good. Look at that enemy. It's shiny. All right. So kind of looking ahead, doesn't look like there's going to be an easy fast travel point. So let's wait. No! Why did they make more side quests appear now? Those were not there! <sighs> Whatever, let's go back to the level that the uh, the dude was on and let's... Well, we need to grab... <sighs> so many things need to happen and my brain is not processing all the things that do need to happen. Because there's going to be a side quest episode where we're probably going to go all around the world, answering the woes of many different people. And I need to be ready for that. We're going to have to turn in some stuff with the owls. Wait, I've totally for This is what I get for talking and then closing my eyes so I don't even run back out where I just came. Okay, off we go. I can't have nice things, guys. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Yes, that's what I'm here for, buddy. All right, so we found out exactly what we needed, and Law got more stuff. I was like, we're getting pretty fleshed out on the titles here, so hey, that's exciting. Look. We've got way more animals. Okay, one, two, the okay, yeah, he was on this floor. So I'm wondering if it might be my best interest that before we go into the mountains that we actually take care of those few side quests and this little in the woods. But honestly, I'm not sure. You're making me blush over here. All right. Well, it's about time. This should be everything the recipe asks for. Rice here, spices, wrapping meat, and what's is it that the other white, soft, and fluffy thing? Yeah, it's called tofu. Uh, apparently, you can. Make it by taking the liquid from soybeans and solidifying it. Nice. Oh, oh, fascinating. I can't wait to see how it tastes. I know. I'm really curious. I had a lot of time bringing the stuff back without Shion stealing it and eating it. Yes. Well, here's the recipe. Go ahead and fix this mabo curry so that way we can find out why it was forbidden. Right. right we'll get on Just it. A minute. Hold your horses, Alfin. I'll decide how much spice we put in. If we let you decide, it'll tear a hole to our stomachs. Uh. Fine. But wait, he has a sense of pain back, so... Unless he still is putting things as spicy just to feel something. Alright, it's all done. I made sure to give Shion an extra large serving. Oh, oh, look at that beautiful dish. It smells just as divine, too. Now to see how it tastes. Mmm. Whoa! This is... Exalting! Fulfilling! Liberating! Absolutely exquisite! I'm in heaven! 
This masterpiece is surely the key to rev revitalizing world peace. Great. So basically, you really like it, is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Great, let's go ahead and... Oh, you're already eating, huh, Shion? Mmm, mm, delicious! <laughs> I love how the different spices complement each other, and this soft, mild tofu gives it a nice texture. Don't you think it tastes great too, Alfin? Wait. Oh no, this is bad. Oh? Bad? I thought you'd like spicy food. This is really bad. Forgive me, Shion, this is absolutely... Stop! You're, you're embarrassing sets yourself. I realized how fast I was reading this dialogue. I was getting into it. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh. Embarrassing indeed. Amazing. I'm sorry, but it's hard to put into words just how good this tastes. Makes you want to get up and jump for joy. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Now you're starting to understand what I've been trying to teach you. I never would have imagined such an overwhelming dish could ever exist. I can already feel myself getting addicted to it. Yes. Now I see. This may very well be why I was branded a forbidden recipe in ages past. Perhaps even great wars were fought over it. Or perhaps not. Likely not, the more I think about it. Better make sure you don't eat too much of this stuff, Shion, or you might regret it. I'll be, side. I'll be fine. Besides, I prefer to eat it with bread, so... So, what? What difference does that make? I feel completely and utterly satisfied. I can leave this realm with no regrets. Have you now visited each of the realms? I'm not sure where to travel next. <laughs> but I sense fate shall bring us together again one day. Until next time, farewell. So we got Mabo Curry now. Alpin, she owns stuffing bread with Mabo Curry. Stuffing bread with it. <laughs> now I can eat this every day. Jeez, Shion, you're hooked up. All right, so. Part of me wants to take care of these side quests before we even head over to the four long, uh, little mountains, so get a little bit of a longer episode today. I don't that's think that's tough. a bad thing. Finally. If only we could so let's go ahead and see what the person down here suddenly wants here in this slum. Oh, I mean in the woods next to this slum. Yeah. Hey there, beautiful. Can I ask you a favor? What do you need? No, I don't mean you, Burly. I'm talking about the other pretty lady over there. Who? Me? I must say, you've got to be pretty strong to make it all the way here. That's why I think you're the perfect one to ask. Just get to the point already, will ya? Well, you see, I've been trying to make my way back to this room, but there's this giant bee buzzing around. My guess is it's the queen bee. Ain't nothing else could be as far as I can see. <laughs> anyway, I'm too scared to try to walk past it, so I'm stuck here. And just what has that got? What any of this got to do with me? Judging from the calluses on your fingers, I take it you're a gunslinger, yeah? I was a fighter in my younger years, so I could tell these things. Anyway, I was hoping you'd shoot down that bee for me. If you were a fighter, what's stopping you just from taking care of it yourself? I hate to admit it, but I'm purely a ground fighter. I'm hopeless against anything that flies around. I'm worried that if the queen hangs around for long, she'll spawn even more bees, and then I've really got no hope of getting home. The last thing we want is more bugs flying around. Alright, you win. I'll see if I can get rid of it. I knew I was right to trust you. My body ain't what it used to be, but I still got a good eye for these things in more ways than one. Okay. So there's a giant bee zoogle running around. How did it come to this? Oh, yep, and it's right there. <sighs> eh. Let's grab the other side quest and we'll open up the next episode with both of these. You're a beautiful woman, Xion. That's a good thing, right? I I, I love their like idle chit chatter about the fact of how he portray Oh, there's a couple side quests. Okay. I can work with this. Now look at this. How did it come to this? I wonder okay. if something happened. Let's go on ahead and grab these quests and then we'll open up next episode no with them and then start our journey in the Four Lone Mountains. Nadio, is that you? You're finally home. Right. Forgive me. I do believe you have the wrong person. My name is Dolhalim. As so happens, I'm new to the area. <sighs> oh, are you the ones who drove out the Zoogles? I'm so sorry. My mistake. Hmm. Fret not. It appears there's something troubling you, however. If it's not too much to ask, would you mind telling me a little bit about this uh, Nadio fellow of yours? I, I can't, I... Is it hard to discuss? 
As you can see, we're a but a roving band of misfits. We've seen much on our travels, so we don't shock easily. Well, in that case, my name is Kagiri. Nadio is my lover, only he's a revenant. You don't say. I see. I can understand why you're so hesitant. Then. Sorry, sentences are hard. I take it something's happened to him. Up until several months ago, we used to meet in secret out of the village, but ever since then, he hasn't returned. He sounded completely normal last time. So, I don't know what's going on. Oh, Nadio. What might, whatever might have happened to you. Anyways, he works as a guard in Pelagian. I'm afraid he might have well... Stay calm. Stay calm. There could have been any number of reasons why he hasn't returned. At any rate, your story intrigues me. I feel personally invested now. We shall investigate this ourselves and get to the bottom of it. Really? You do that for me? Good. Gladly. Leave this matter us. For now, we'll make our way to Belegion. Any records we find there should tell us where we just went. Mm. Good idea. With that, we shall be on our way. With any luck, we should have good news before long. Sure. Yes, thank you. All right, missing lover. Don't don't think we're probably gonna give a, uh, get a title for this quest too. That's my innate guess, at least. This is terrible. Our coastline is a wreck. What's wrong, sir? An enormous bird keeps whipping up these enormous twisters and ruining everything. That sounds like a zoogle to me. What a shame. It used to be so peaceful along here. You should see all the flotsam and jetsam that wash the shore. That They say birds like shiny objects, don't they? I guess flying zoogles must think like birds. At any rate, we can't go fishing while those twisters are around. We're in, we're in deep trouble. Got it. No worries, sir. We'll blow those pesky tornadoes back to where they came right. from. If it's a bird zoogle we're dealing with, that'll make it a nice and easy target for me, too. <laughs> Goodness, aren't you two such brave young women? If you intend to visit the shoreline, do be careful. All right, it does sound like we have a little bit of a side questage to me. We have two big zoogles that we have to fight. And we have um, the Forlorn Mountains to eventually get through. So I think that this is probably as good a time as any to go ahead and stop the episode here. So I want to thank each and every, every one of you guys for watching today's video of Tales of Arise. If you guys could, leave a like or subscribe. It helps me out. It helps you out. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the next episode or whatever the next day is. I think this is the third, fourth, uh, one of those episodes this week. I'll see you guys later.